What's up agents, Patrick Wolf here. Welcome to this week's Vendor Reset. I do these every single week, every Tuesday with Cassie Mendoza to follow and any Thieves Den vendor that might be of interest to you guys. So let's get into this week's Vendor Reset, guys. Let's see, hopefully we can get some better items. Hope, uh, we're hoping for some more named weapons, uh, better gear mods, things like that. You know, the usual stuff that would help us. Okay, so we've got a submachine gun, a P90. Uh, I don't normally use this gun too often. I would imagine it would be pretty good in PvE because of the sustained damage from the 50 plus magazine, which is pretty nice. 11,700 is the base damage. Um, it's got measured, distance, and rooted. Rooted is actually really good for any kind of PvE skill build, or any skill build in general. Distance is the secondary talent. It's pretty good. Not bad. Uh, let me know in the comments if, if any of these guns have, uh, you know, what the percentage base damage is because I don't really have the time to do all of them. So I hope you guys understand that. G36C, 12,800 base. Restrained, Allegro, and Transmission. 586 Magnum, 29k base with fast hand, stable, stop, drop, and roll. Badger Tough Backpack, 300 skill, 12k health, 3.5 crit chance, 5.5% total armor with a defensive mod slot as well. Sokol of Concern, chest piece. This has got 19,000 armor, 4 crit chance, 4 weapon damage, 7% headshot damage with hard hitting, which is getting removed in TU7, and an offensive mod slot. Then we've got an offensive mod, 1.5% weapon damage, 1.5% uh, headshot damage, critical range. Uh, it actually is no longer a thing in this game. I don't know why it's still there. Forget about critical range. It's, it's been taken out of the game. So don't worry about that, guys. I don't even know. I wouldn't I wouldn't bother with this mod. It's a bit of a shame. I wish there was a, a weapon-based damage that would be there. It'll be a bit better. Then we've got 117% damage for the drone. Very nice. Then spare parts, 83% skill haste for the turret. Nothing too crazy here. Always make sure to check the crafting bench, the woman here, because sometimes she sells blueprints that you might not have. I don't have anything this week, but sometimes if, you, if you're missing a blueprint, it's probably because I have the blueprint that's displaying here. So guys, just always check the crafting bench on every vendor reset. You never know what blueprint might pop up for you. So guys, just a quick little note. I'm going to leave a link in the description to go follow my uh, or subscribe to my other channel, my other YouTube channel, Patrick Wolf II. I'll leave a link. Go check it out. I do Escape from Tarkov videos. So let's carry on with this vendor reset. Okay, so the base of operations, we've got the clan vendor level 30. If you guys see anything better in any of the other levels, I don't even think they've they change. I think it's all the same because it never used to be, but they changed it. So we've currently got the Healer God Night Watcher mask for 17k health, which is actually pretty high and 5% crit chance. This is actually a pretty decent mask if you guys needed it. And it doesn't cost DZ credit, so it's easier to buy. So come and pick this up. It's pretty It's pretty good, if I'm honest. You keep the health roll, and then roll whatever you want damage to elites. You could have a pretty decent mask here. Then we've got hard wide gloves, 66 skill power, 4% crit chance. Utility mod slot as well. Tip of the spear knee pads, 6% crit chance. Tip of the spear gloves, 199 skill, 2.5 crit chance, and ACR with base damage of 12,647 with eyeless, accurate, and rooted. Then we've got a super 90. This has got 99k base damage with optimist, optimized, and in rhythm. In rhythm is very good. A 5% chance to refresh active skill cooldowns. Any kind of high skill, skill cooldown build, it's very good. Remember, it's an equipped talent. This will work on, while holding any of your three guns that are currently equipped to your character. So you can use any of them. As long as this is on one of the three guns on your character, you can use any of the guns and it'll proc in rhythm. Then we've got a Snubnose Dicerus, which is a pistol, 46k base damage with Sadist, Optimized, and Double Duty. Battle Gloves, which are Petra of Defense. Pistol Damage 2, LMG 3, Assault Rifle 2 with Precise as the Talent. And MPX with Extra, Overlap, and Vindictive, 12k, 12.3k base. Providence Defense Holster, 13k health on kill. 245 skill power with a defensive mod slot. Sokolov Concern Holsters, which are actually very good. 4% crit damage, 186 skill power, 16% skill haste with filler up, reloading from empty reloads all weapons. This could be very good for any kind of LMG build. Or, you know, it doesn't... I guess if you just swap to your pistol, reload your pistol, uh, then it'll reload all your weapons. So it, it'll actually be very good... If you're using an LMG and then maybe use an SMG as a secondary, you use your mag of your LMG, then the mag of your uh, SMG, use the SMG's quick reload time, and then you go back to your LMG and it's already reloaded. This could be very strong. Utility mod slot, 119 drone skill power, 159 hive with 77 skill power. Not bad. I might need. I might actually need to get this because I don't have very high uh, hive skill power mods. Then we have got 83% skill ace for the ballistic shield. 61% radius for the Hive, and then finally 85% damage for the Chem Launcher, which is very important, guys. If you like the Pyro build, if you like any kind of skills, skill builds using the Chem Launcher, definitely get this. It's worth buying a few of them. Just 
to keep just keep in mind guys the changes are only coming i would say the earliest end of march so just enjoy the game don't worry get the right gear still get mods the mods your, your build and your mods will, will be carried over they won't be nerfed to the ground don't worry we'll just have to wait and see what happens but i wouldn't worry too much about the changes guys because it's inevitable we're gonna see your good gear will get transferred over so don't worry i see people stressing oh there's no point in buying mods or damage to elites is going it doesn't matter just enjoy the game it's far away have fun and we'll see what happens when it happens I, i'm i'm pretty sure your your gear your mods will all be transferred in a good way so don't worry about that the theater settlement let's see what he's got for us this week black market sasg 12 82k base with a spike distance and transmission LVOAC, Rifleman, Extra and Protected Reload, the base damage is 26k. RNK Gloves, 3% Rifle, 3% Crit Chance with Surgical, these could be useful. You also get a nice 10% Hazard Protection from the One Piece. Then China Light Industries Knee Pads, 6% Crit Chance with Patience. Patience is good for any kind of build, you obviously need 6 or more, so any kind of tank build, this works well. It's also got an offensive mod slot and you get the Explosive Damage, this, this would be really good for any kind of Seeker Mine Hybrid, just the way it is even. Defensive mod, 5,000 health, 963 armor percent, uh, armor per second regeneration, and 7% skill health. Now, skill health could be vital for a hardcore character. If you guys play hardcore mode, uh, have a look because I know that your hive might get destroyed by any kind of NPC and it might be worth stacking skill health. I don't know how much, but just keep that in mind. Then we got a, a 114 skill haste for the Seeker Mine, not bad. It can go up way higher than that, so it isn't the highest mod I've seen, but it's, if you, like I say, all these pieces, someone might find them useful. Not, if you tell me that the vendor reset is trash and what a, it's a waste of time, you're selfish and you need to get out of here because let me tell you now, so many people don't even have, let's say 20% health mods and this will be golden, even though let's say it goes up to 150. So we can't speak for everyone. So the, yeah, we gotta just re remember that. Then we've got auxiliary battery. These are getting removed from the game completely in a few months. Just keep that in mind. This is for the Firefly. Let's see what the campus settlement has for us this week. Hopefully, hopefully it'll be a better because the vendor reset hasn't been too great so far. Classic M44 carbine, 102k base, not bad. Vindictive, stable and greased. Military M60, 70k base, close and personal, optimized and cannon. Sokolov, consume, mask, 19% DTE, 155 skill power, 3452 health and kill with trauma. And then Chun Light Industries holster with 239 skill power, very low. Crit chance is also low, ah, terrible. Then 89 skill power, Chem Launcher 132, Seeker 118. It's not the worst I've seen. It's perfect if you're stacking Chem Launcher and if you're using a Chem Launcher and a Seeker together, this is the mod you want. Even though the base is low, it'll make up for it with this, the singular values. So definitely stack a few of these if you are using those two skills together. That's, that's the key to really min-maxing your skills. Then we've got Piranha Solution. 51% burn strength. Very, very nice. I am getting one of these. Make sure to pick this up, guys. This is another piece that's perfect for the future updates because the pyro build is going to be very strong. Hazard protection is going down. Keep that in mind. This is a must buy. I've just bought two. Very important, guys. So definitely give that a try. 48% charge. Even though I bought two, I think you can only use one. It depends. I, I just like to buy two for my other character anyway, even if that is the case. Then we got 48% charges for the hive if you need it, and then 22% radius for the pulse. The Dark Zone West vendor. Tactical Super 90 SPS with Sadus, Jazz Hands, and Zen with an 88k base damage. Lightweight M4, 22611 base damage. Ignited, stable, and everlasting. You're all your holdings gloves. 8% shotgun damage with kneecap. Alp Summit holds all oh, knee pads. 177 skill power with capacitive. Defensive protocol mod, 5300 health with some resistances that I wouldn't really bother delving into. Then we got auxiliary battery for the Seeker Mine 218, 75% uh, health for the Ballistic Shield, that's not too bad, I've seen upwards of 96%. Then we've got auxiliary battery for the Firefly again with 250. The Dark Zone East Fender, once again we're going to have to put on the base damage uh, because, oh there, oh, it actually stayed on for once, yay. Okay, let's see what we've got. Paratrooper SVD with spike, nice, accurate, nice, and recharged, that is not bad at all. 46k base damage, if you guys want to pick it up, this is perfect. It does require Dark Zone credits though, so unfortunate. But it is pretty good, the talents are decent. Let me know what the base damage is like in the comments. Black Market RPK with Ignited Distance Top Drop Roll, 12,300 base. Badger Tough Mask, 19 Hazard, 13 Health, 3% Health. Then Yarl, 215 Skill Power, 10% Crit Chance with an Offensive Mod Slot. Utility Mod Slot for Skill Power, Increased Poison 
duration and increased disrupt duration. That's ter that's one of the worst mods I've ever seen. Uh, then we've got 72% heal for the chem launcher, if you guys are looking for that. 70% damage for the hive, and then 129 skill haste for the pulse. Dark Zone South Vendor, we have got... Okay, so the base damage is staying on now, that's a first. MP5A2 with 12k base, spike accurate cannon for mass 2010. 10,163 base, that's not too great. Steady handed jazz hands and double duty. A D50, 46k base damage with strained distance and zen. 511 tactical backpack, 407 skill power, 4.5% crit damage, 2.5% crit chance with the capacitive and hard hitting. Alp summit chest piece, 15.5 headshot, 12.5 crit chance, and unstoppable force. I seem to be getting attacked. Oh, look, it's that, that Christmas dude. He's very strong. That turret's not actually doing much to him, is it? What did he drop? I didn't even know that was still happening. Okay. Well, let's continue. Then we've got... Okay, we've just gone over that. I mean, the crit chance is pretty high and the headshot damage. So, I mean, it's a pretty decent piece. Uh, if, I'm, if I'm really honest, guys, that's actually a pretty decent piece. Then we've got an offensive mod, so 2% weapon, 3% crit chance, 2% critical hit damage. I needed one or two of these. Uh, very nice. It's not high. It's not 4% or 5 crit chance, but it, it's it's okay. It's decent. Auxiliary battery 251 for the drone. And then we've got a 55% health for the turret. So that's it for the vendor reset for this week. Cassie Mendoza will come up shortly, probably only tomorrow at about the same time. So make sure to subscribe to my other YouTube channel, Patrick with the second, link in the description guys, and subscribe to this one of course for more Division 2 content, vendor resets, click the notification bell, and I'll be seeing you agents in the next video. Peace out guys.